Well, good morning, everyone. I do know my hair's kind of crazy. Just woke up, took off my CPAP mask, made some coffee. But what we're gonna talk about is, I said I was gonna give it an honest shot. I EDC this for a week. A week, it's been around my neck for a week. Uh, a little bit more than a week, actually. I'm trying to think of when I actually did it. But I did EDC the Reich Knife Hummingbird. And I was like, you know, what's it like to EDC the tiniest little knife that I own. Well, we're gonna talk about that because it wasn't as horrible as I thought it was gonna be, but it wasn't great, but we'll talk about it. So here's, here's the deal, guys. Ask her, are you happy to be home and see your husband? <laughs> Did you miss me at all? Would you get back on a plane and go back to Japan right now? See, see guys, stinks. I st what I stink? Stinks. It's my wife, everyone. My wife. Yeah, Every bit as horrible a person as I am. She's the same. Exactly the same. Horrible just like me. But I love you. I love you so much. I don't like a bald, fat. Well, first of all, I'm not bald. I have hair. And I'm not fat by American standards. <laughs> have you seen some of the people running around America today? Terrible thing that he didn't realize that you're bald and fat. I, I know I have a bald spot. So... Good morning. So that whole preceding goofiness is just me and my wife. And you know, I was walking the dog, so I figured I would shoot the intro for the video that way. So what we are here to talk about, let me get into uniform. I had to, I had to wash my hat. Uh, it was a very hot summer and the fact was this hat stunk. It needed washed. I washed it yesterday, hung it up to dry. So this is what we're here to talk about. The Reich Knife Hummingbird. Now, I know you guys have probably seen these. These are in Damasteel, full titanium. It is a flipper. It's a full titanium frame lock flipper that runs on caged bearings. So I did take this knife apart um, just to see how feasible it was. And I was trying to do it and I did it in a, in a controlled setting and realized real quick, there was no way I was gonna be able to do a disassembly video on this knife because these hands were not meant to take this knife apart and put it back together. It really isn't, it is nerve wracking. It took me a while, but I will tell you that I did it because I thought something was wrong because it kept, it was off center. Uh, it's just that the pivot, it just did the pivot, that's all. Um, these knives, I did a video about these knives, but I wanted to see what it was like using this knife for a little bit more than a week and so i did sharpen it which i'm not gonna lie to you is extremely difficult the blade is very small there's no real good way to hold it and maintain your angle it was an exercise in precision which is what this knife is all about but so i did carry it for like i said the last week and a half and what i'll tell you is it's a cool novelty um it's something that I could have, I could, I could have this knife and be playing with it somewhere where most people would flip out if you had a knife. Um, but it has some major drawbacks. Uh, I forced myself to use this for a lot of things that I normally would reach to my pocket for um, and pull out something, Jesus. I was playing with it and I tightened it down so I may have gotten the pivot a little tight on that. Um, Something I'd use a larger knife for, I was forcing myself to do things with this, and what I can tell you is, it's not a very functional knife. There we go. Um, it's got some major drawbacks. The blade is really small. Getting a grip on it to do anything that requires very much work at all, just, it doesn't happen. And the blade is just, it doesn't have the cutting potential that you need to do any major tasks. You can't really use this for anything. Now, what would be cool would be, uh, Nico said he's done it, he's worn it as a tie clip um, and things like that. But one of the big things, the problems I have with it is, it's so easy to get pressure on that lock bar that it just, it's almost painful to try and open it with my big fingers. Like, there, there it went. And it's leaving indentations on my fairly calloused fingers. Um, but it's just, it's trying to use it for anything that makes it difficult. It's actually 
not very useful. It, it does have a, a, a generous finger toil. I can get in on it and I can get a hold of it and I'm not worried about slipping forward and, and things like that. that. That large finger area there. But just everything about it being so tiny, it just makes it, it makes it a novelty. Now, I will say that it is an amazing showcase of machining capability, which I'm telling you right now, that's what it was intended to be. They sold them, it was a novelty, but there were people out there in, 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 the, uh, in the CNC and machining world going, wow, well, those guys have got it. Because as I said in a video before, Elliot and I talked about it, doing things in miniature is extremely difficult. So, you know, my hat's off to him for this, uh, but it's just, I can't, there it went. No, it does flip when you can get a hold of it. Problem is, when I hold on to it, I have to get it, just, god oh, damn it. Oh, I have to get a hold of it enough to, to actually actuate it, but by then I'm putting tension I'm converting tension onto the lock bar and detent. It doesn't want to snap. Now, it is very smooth. It does run on caged bearings. Now, I've had it apart, like I said. The bearing race on this is the smallest thing I've ever seen. They are the tiniest little bearings you've ever seen in your life. So, it is amazing. Now, I did not take, I wasn't gonna take the lock bar insert out because, Jesus, I can't imagine the threads. But I looked at the threads on this and I was like, I have to be extremely careful. Those threads are so fine that I was like, I can't, you know, it's, it's an exercise in me not destroying something, which is out of character. Uh, the other thing is, like I said, the pivot, the reason I took it apart in the first place was to see what was going on. You know, is it off center because of something else? So the pivot on this is a free spinning pivot, a tiny free spinning pivot. And uh, I had to, it, I played hell getting it apart and back together properly um, and recentering that blade. But once I did, I immediately Loctited it in place. So uh, it doesn't walk to off center anymore. The only way to carry this, one of the other downfalls, the, the downsides of this thing, the only way to comfortably carry this for me was in the neck lanyard, which it, you forget it's there. And people had asked, you know, what's the retention like? With something this light, it is really easy to, to not need a lot of tension. That's not going anywhere. It's so light. But the flip side is I have to wear it around my neck and it catches in my, the, the chain is not perfect. It would need a different chain. Uh, but they did a good job with that. That's a pretty okay way to carry it. And it's not unattractive. It is a very attractive little knife. But like I said, to EDC something that small is more, much more of a novelty than an actual functional tool. It, uh, it does do some, I mean, if you're just opening like fucking packages and stuff, you just need something where you can just pull it out and cut something and, and you just need to cut that package open. Hey, it's probably good for you. I, I don't need something that small. Uh, my neck knife is about as small as I would want to carry. My my uh, my vipers that I make is about as small as something I would want to carry. But I will say that they have almost as much blade here as I have on my viper neck knives. It's just in a different configuration. It just doesn't feel the same. So yeah, I just I just wanted to I wanted to give it an honest shot, and it just did not work out for what I wanted. Now for somebody in an office setting where you want to have a knife but you want to do it. You want to have something that's discreet and you're not going to, you know, there, there's people that flip out when they see something like this get brought out. They're like, oh my God, he's got a, he's got a fucking hatchet. There's some people that that's just, that's off-putting. I don't know why. Sorry about that. My phone rang. Um, yeah, it, it's sometimes it's just, it's not acceptable in some, some groups in some settings to have a knife. I just personally choose to avoid those groups and those places. Um, so that's it. That's pretty much it. This was just, it was fun. It was fun to carry it. I, I'm going to take it off now and, and not wear it all the time because it's, the chain's kind of short and it catches my hair a lot. 
the chain on this does catch my eye. Like I said, I would want to change that if I was going to carry this religiously. But, you know, there's two of these at the house now, uh, this green one and a purple one. Uh, they were both sent by the gentleman that sent them. I really appreciate One of them was Dwayne, and the other one was from our mysterious benefactor. Uh, he sent one the next day. And so they were both gifts for my daughter. She doesn't want them both. So one of them is now mine. Now I have a Ray Cummingbird, but officially my daughter at one point had more damn steel knives than I do, which was two, and I have none, but now I have one. We're tied. So, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, like I said, there's sometimes there's just some fun in trying something different. Uh, this was like the looks that I got when I would pull this out and I would be using it on something and people would be like, really? Don't you have an actual knife you can use? <laughs> it did get, it's damn steel. It did get ridiculous sharp. It is, now let's give it a shot. Let's see. I did sharpen it for use. It does have a catch because it's a very thin blade and I managed to, I think I rolled a little spot on it. Either that or that's just the way the fibers in that paper were running. Nah, it's got a catch. So, I mean, it got used. It got used. All right, guys. Rake Hummingbird. Not my choice for everyday carry. You guys take it easy. This was just a fun video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the video that went up yesterday will be posting today at noon. And uh, I'll get that out. That's a, bad, that's a different kind of video. So you guys will see that. All right. You guys take it easy. And I'll see you next time.